I have represented victims of car accidents, semis, and other big trucks for over 35 years. These accidents could have been avoided. Each week, I will share a tip on how to make the roadway safer. These involve steps that need to be taken by semi drivers, car drivers, and trucking companies. This one's aimed at slowing down in the winter time. Uh, as you all know, in the winter in the Midwest, you're faced with all kinds of weather. You may have sunny day one day and snow and sleet the next. You may be driving on wet pavement and suddenly it turns to ice. All of these are extraordinarily dangerous, especially if you're going too fast. We know that the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations require truck drivers to use extreme caution uh, whenever visibility is affected or traction is affected. We know that the CDL manuals, the commercial driver's manuals, require truck drivers to decrease speed when they're on wet pavement, decrease speed by 50% if they're driving on packed snow, and get off the roadway when faced with ice. Many company policies and industry standards also require them to drive slower than the speed limit when faced with adverse weather. But state laws also require cars to decrease their speed. So if a car is faced with the same weather, ice, snow, sleet, they are required to drive slower if their visibility or their traction is affected. And last, trucking companies also have a responsibility. A trucking company should train and teach their drivers to adjust their speed for the weather uh, conditions and the road conditions. They shouldn't punish their drivers for pulling off. If a driver has to pull off or feels it's safe to pull off, then they shouldn't punish them by not paying them. They shouldn't reward drivers for driving through hazardous weather. So let's all slow down and protect each other.